Hello everyone, I'm Shell C from Paper Rock TO Studio and today I wanted to share with you a project I did with Tattered Angels Decor and DIY paint. These paints are designed for multiple surfaces, not saying they'll stick to every single thing, probably not plastic. I did um, put some on metal and that seemed to work pretty well and it works great on these terracotta pots. It's not soaking in or using too much paint it's just setting right on the surface and drying quickly. It seems to cover in one coat and I don't have to go over it multiple times so I'm pretty happy with this paint. It comes in an 8 ounce jar with a wide top as you can see like kinda like a regular paint jar um, and I'm using sponge brushes to apply the paint so nothing fancy I'm really going low tech on this one as you will see later. <laughs> I figured that I, that the sponge brushes would work fine with a craft project like this. I didn't need anything fancy. Uh, this paint cleans up with water. Um, says on the jar that you should use mild soap and water. I just used water to clean everything up when I was done. And I'm applying two different colors on the pots. One on the rim and one on the body. And then also doing the same to the little saucers that go underneath to catch excess water. I'm doing this project to use outside. On my back patio we have a table and I'm just I want to decorate it up a little bit for the summer. Um, it's fun to eat out there in the summer when it's just hot and it's hot inside and hot to cook and then you just want to go outside and and check out nature and so I thought it would be nice to have some little plants sitting on the table to make it more decorative. I actually bought the paints to do a refinish of a table that's looking really bad that's also for outside but I haven't used it yet for that. I wanted to try it out on the pots first. So I'm not having any trouble getting a, a coverage on these pots. I've painted these with regular craft paint before and I have to do multiple coats because the terracotta is absorbent and it usually just like sucks up the paint and you have to use a lot of coats but this paint apparently is um, formulated to use on multiple surfaces and I'm not having that problem at all just one little coat is all it takes so once I've got my solid colors painted with my sponge brushes then I'm going to add some design and for this first pot I'm just using all different types of trash. This is a spool from the inside of a, a, ma a scotch tape. It's got the tape off of it and the spool was left and it makes a little double circle. I think it looks pretty cool for mark making. Uh, the next one I'm going to use is the bottom side of a sponge dauber, I think. And I'm using just an old hotel key card or gift card or something to spread out the paint on uh, and I'm using that's a styrofoam, styrofoam plate that I'm using to just spread out the paint and make like a little ink pad type situation. So I've got um, just different things that are circles and I do apologize for going off the screen way too much. This is a new setup for me as far as uh, filming. I, I wanted a bigger space and so I set the ca camera up higher and I didn't realize how often I go off screen. It's, it's not good. I'm sorry about that. But you get the idea. I'm using trash. <laughs> Things like the next one is a toilet paper roll to make a little bit larger circles using the green paint. I'm spreading it out now with my key card. And I'm just putting circles around everything and all over it with the toilet paper roll as well, which you can't see because it's off the screen. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't redo it because I already painted the pots. <laughs> Those are the only pots I have. <laughs> so the last thing that I added circles with in a couple different colors is the eraser of a pencil one that hasn't been used so it's it's round and it makes great little round dots perfect for this and I'm just I've just got the four colors of paint and so I'm using the four colors together for all three of my pots
once I decide to decorate the rim, I decide I want some stripes. And so I, so I use the edge of a makeup sponge, you know, a cosmetic sponge, and just, just use the very edge of it to make the stripes around the top. As you can see, one coat of the color goes over the other color, completely opaque. I don't have to worry about that at all. It's opaque. And then I'm going back with my um, other little circle implements. That's the sponge dauber bottom. And then I'm going to do that in purple as well to just make little circles. And this pot actually turned out to be my favorite one, just made with all these little pieces of trash. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Lids that you would throw away, um, you know, insides of things, rolls that you would throw away. This one, I think I'm using, yeah, this is the lid to my uh, water barrel brush. And it makes almost like a little gear shape because it has ridges around the edge, which is kind of cool. I'm just going on the inside of the other ones. So there you see the pot all decorated. Then I do uh, put some dots on the saucer as well around the edges using just the eraser to the pencil in a couple different colors. Now this one is the green and purple one and I have all these little cheapy stamps that I've made using fun foam the self-adhesive kind and I cut out shapes and then I stuck them to the tops uh, of uh, water bottle lids. We have tons of water bottle lids everywhere. I drink a lot of water here in Arizona. <laughs> so this one is like a ray shape. It's like a long um, triangle and it's actually on a piece of styrofoam because it was a little too long for the lids. When I did make these stamps, I put more than one layer of the fun foam, one on top of the other before I cut them out to make them a little bit thicker because the fun foam was very thin. But that's just that cheap stuff you can buy at the craft store or at Walmart or something. And it cuts easily with scissors and it's adhesive on the back so it sticks by itself. And these worked great. I mean, they're not, you know, it's not a precision stamp. It's not high quality red rubber precision stamp. It's messy and gloppy, but it's perfect for this type of a project. And I think they'll also be great on my jelly plate to make marks with on my jelly plate. So those were like little sunshines, kind of the idea. And then I'm putting some dots on with my, the end of my eraser on the pencil again, because I like how that works. This whole project uh, to do three pots and three saucers took me one hour and 41 minutes to complete. Um, obviously it's sped up <laughs> to make it um, easier to watch. Now this time I'm using the outer lid of the, you know, the, the underside lid of the uh, water bottle lid and then I cut a smaller circle and stuck it on the top to do the inside. So I have an outline and then an, another color on the inside. And then I used a spiral shape that I cut and then this one is a leaf or a petal depending on what you would want. Very simple shapes. Easy to do. Easy to make these little stamps for yourself. You could also just cut them out of sponge just like you know a kitchen sponge can cut shapes out of that and use them to stamp on a project like this as well. It gives it a little bit different look. I'm using my um, pencil to go around the inside of the flower and then I'm putting my petals on after that. I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm very pleased with the paint. It didn't smell bad. It didn't you know stink up my studio or anything. It was uh, one coat, smooth to put on, easy cleanup, um, worked really well. So I'm happy with my first experience with this decor and DIY paint from Tattered Angels. Of course, Tattered Angels is a Canvas Corp brands company. 
as is Seven Gypsies, so they're all under the umbrella of Canvas Corp Brands. So I've also got my uh, third pot here, and I'm going to paint it purple, and then the rim is going to be the yellow color. So it was I should have painted all of the solid colors and rims first and let them dry, because <laughs> I kept getting my fingers in the purple, and my, my fingers ended up being quite purple. <laughs> But that's what's fun, is when you make a mess, right? That's the fun part. The purple, the first um, go around was slightly streaky, but it, with the second little, you know, I didn't like let it dry and do a second coat or anything like that. I just went over it again and it was fine. And then the yellow rim, the yellow is very opaque, so really easy to use pale buttery yellow I like it of course it's not called yellow it has a different name and I will put the um, information about what I used in the description below so now I've got my saucer for the this is for the green one and this little stamp that I made is a square And it works pretty good to make little stripes on the rim of this. And then I'll use it on the other, another pot as well, as an actual square. It's amazing what you can do with the square. You can make checkers, you can make stripes, you can make all kinds of stuff with a square. So that one's done. That's pot number two. And now I'm using the square on the rim of my third pot. This orange color is almost terracotta, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost the color of the pots. That's the reason that I didn't paint any of them that color in the flat part. I just used it as an accent because what's the point of painting something the same color it already is? <laughs> I suppose there might be a, p a point. I'm not sure what it is though right at this moment. <laughs> So I have a triangle, I've got a diamond, this is the diamond, I'm going over the orange squares with the purple diamond. That kind of makes me sound like I'm doing a commercial for Lucky Charms. <laughs> orange squares, purple diamonds, green triangles. So I'm using it the same shapes again and then I'm <clears throat> going to use a star shape here in a second with the yellow. Poured too much yellow on there. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to get out of the container if you want to pour it, just like a regular paint can is. So that's the star, and then I'm trying to decide what to do. I decided to add the spiral, I think. Yep, the spirals inside the squares. Then I decide I need some sketchy stuff on this and so I decide to use my Posca pins, my black and white Posca pin, to just make sketchy shapes. And I am going to seal this using a spray sealer. I don't think you would need to but this particular one since I use the Posca pins I think I will seal this one. I don't think they're designed to live outside. So here at the bottom I decide to just make flower petal shapes using a brush. Obviously you can use a brush. <laughs> you can use a brush with paint. You don't have to use stamps if you don't want to. <laughs> so I'm just making some little yellow petals all the way around the bottom. And then I take the pencil eraser tip thing and make a bunch of little dots so it kind of looks as if the pot is on the inside of a flower and then with the brush I'm making some little um, ve veins inside the petals just for fun then while that's drying I'm making dots again on the edge of the saucer that goes with this one. 
a couple different colors using the pencil again. I think that it ended up being my favorite tool <laughs> that I used was the pencil eraser for this. I also like that double uh, circle that the inside of the tape dispenser does as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Making some dots inside the stars because they just looked too blobby. And then I've got my white Posca and I'm drawing white sketchy squares around the orange squares. And I did some sketching inside the petals as well. I mean outside the petals. Then this shows you how I do the dots. I think I actually this part was on screen mostly. So so we're just about done and ready for the close-ups. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And be sure to try some decor and DIY paint from Tattered Angels. Bye-bye.